Naalala ko yung huling mga nakabangga ng una kong kotse, si Nico, nanay ko, tsaka yung kapatid ko. No. Anong no? <laughs> Totoo naman ah. Tapos sir, pwede start mo na rin siya. Sige, sige. Para matest natin yung aircon, yung mga lights sa loob. Isa start daw natin. Hindi ba ito yung susi? Ah, hindi sir. Ay, sir, pala. Okay, this is, isn't the exact variant that we're getting, but it is very similar. So, kita nyo naman, isa sa mga na-enjoy ko dito yung 10.1 screen, LCD screen ng uh, head unit. Ayan, so, meron siyang Apple CarPlay uh, na pwede lang i-plug yung iPhone dyan, tsaka yun, parang plug and play lang. And it's gonna be able to show your OS here in the screen. Maliban dun, it's an Isuzu, so it's very fuel efficient. Its main purpose for us is going to be for business and for ibang mga lakad ang work. So, I'm very excited. Ayan, ang ganda ng ano, ng dashboard. Oh. Ganda ng steering wheel niya. Ayan yung dashboard. And of course, I'm getting the automatic transmission. Very spacious legroom also. I'm 6'1", so let's just try. So, para sa mga nagtatanong, dito kami bumibili sa Isuzu Santa Rosa. Dito lang yan sa Santa Rosa Tagaytay Road. Sobrang bait ang mga tao dito. Pag pumunta kayo, obviously they'll take care of you guys. And yeah, they're very easy to deal with also. Oh, di ba? Ang lakas ng ilo, di ba? Lalagyan na pa ng shades, eh. Armrest, handbrake, we have uh, cup holders, a couple of cup holders, may isa dito, may isa dito, dalawa dito, syempre dun sa passenger side din, and ang daming storage also. Meron dito, ayan, pwede ka maglagay ng cellphone dyan, para syempre hindi siya exposed, uh, dito may parang, yeah, I think this is called a cooler. Oops, it's a very nice car. I'm very excited to bring mine home. Hindi mo ba yung ayaw mo yung ganyan? Hindi ka nang malaki yung lalagyan. Hindi, lalagyan na ng coins kasi yan. Hindi. Lalagyan na ng coins yan pag hindi ka magdadagay. Pag masyado daw malaki, sabi nila TikTok, pag masyado daw malaki, pwede mo daw i-push back. O di ganun din mo yung din. Hindi, like more space o. So anyway, since we'll be talking, we'll also be talking about how to purchase a car amidst the pandemic. It's still easy to purchase a car even during the pandemic. It's pretty much the same process. Katulad ng pinagdaanan ko, makikita nyo na marami akong pipirmahan na mga, na mga papers because it is a car loan and nag down payment ako and since we're going to be using this for business my business will be paying for this car uh, so back to the process of getting a car so you have to you know have a bank approval in-house bank approval uh, this is what I did in Isuzu Santa Rosa so after the bank approval you'll pick a car <laughs> pick a car that you want uh, choose the variant that you want. Uh, Siyempre, ibabangga mo dun sa mga, ano ba talaga yung mga kailangan mo? Kailangan mo ba talaga ng malaking engine? Or do you really need, you know, the high-tech, top-of-the-line uh, van? Or 
or truck. So those are the things that you have to consider. And then after you pick one, so you will wait for the bank approval. And then after no, kapag na approve ka na, it will take one week plus for your unit to be released. So, yun lang. Tsaka ano ano? Anong coding nung ano, nung induction ko? Pinapababa ko sir para makita natin na Sige, sige. Okay. Yun naman sir kasi after natin ilabas, uh, 30 to 40 working days, expect sir may ORCR na yun. At the same time, uh, may plate number na rin yun. So, yun ah, may plate number ka? Yes po. Meron na po ngayon. Hindi tulad natin. Kailangan ko malaman kung ano yung plate number para... Kasi may isa akong... Ano Ito, Tuesday ito. 3 or 4? 3, 3, 3. Oo. So, dapat hindi sir ka... Dapat hindi Tuesday, uh, oo. So, yun ang kailangan kong i-consider. gamitin namin ng mga business lockads. Um, Car ko actually black din. Tapos, I actually said na hindi na ako kukuha ng black na kotse. Pero nung nakita ko yung black nito, I just fell in love with it. So, black it is again. This is actually the second car that uh, I bought. Third, third pala. Actually, yung, yung pangalawa kasi kami yung dalawa ni Jersey. So, ito for the business. So, Naalala ko nung tuloy mga nakabangga nung una kong kotse Si Nico, nanay ko, tsaka yung kapatid ko Anong no? Totoo naman ah Di ba binangga mo yun? Customer relation and they are facilitator for the digital orientation. By the way, this is my. Um, so we have three reasons po, uh, why, we, why we are conducting this kind of orientation. First po, para po sa ating proper vehicle care. Pangalaw po yung ating empower in making decision. Last po, transition natin from sales to service. Kung bagay ito po yung inyong uh, introduction for your service. part na after sale service nila yung orientation na pinanood natin yun yung uh, mga reminders about uh, the service about uh, the Philippine Lemon Law and uh, these things na uh, kailangan mo malaman kapag pagkatapos mong bilhin yung sasakyan so ganda na after sale service nila. Let's start the aircon, the lights on the floor. Let's start the aircon. 
Hindi ba ito yung susi? Ah, hindi siya. Ay, hindi. Ano pala? Pero yung alarm kasi ng isa, iba naman po yun. Uh, yung isang susi? Yes sir. Yes, sir. So, ayan, nakuha ko na yung uh, sasakyan. Ni-release na nung dealer. And just like what you witnessed, uh, before they released it, they had to let us watch uh, orientation videos with regards to maintenance, with regards to the insurances, uh, the dealer. Lahat ng kailangan mo malaman bago ma-release sa'yo yung kotse. So, very intricate at very uh, helpful yung video na pinanood nila sa amin. Uh, yeah, so yun. So, the, the usual process pagkatapos pirmahan yung mga release papers, ibibigay sa'yo yung malaking susi <laughs> para sa pictorial purposes naman yun. And then yun, na-release sa akin yung kotse before we we uh, drove off. We checked all the, the lights and the aircon, if everything is working properly. So, uh, yun, praise God naman. Tapos na, nasa akin na itong kotse. I am very happy about their after service at uh, syempre, dun, ako sa Isuzu Santa Rosa palaging magpapa maintenance itong D-MAX na kanuha ako. So, I'm very excited to use this. Uh, again, katulad ng sinabi ko, itong sasakyan na to would be Basically, our workhorse uh, para sa mga business needs if may mga kailangan akong puntahan na malalayo since we live in the south and uh, pang multi-purpose din siya. Uh, the other car that we have is more on our family car. So, that's it for this video. Sana na-encourage ko rin kayo kapag kukuha kayo ng sasakyan makikita nyo or nakita nyo yung process of Isuzu that's very impressive. So, uh, guys, <laughs> alam nyo na yun. Click like and subscribe and share this video. Peace.